Well, hello everybody. My name is Atia. Welcome back. This is Smooth Complexions. This is like the most requested video that I got so far of 2010. Um, a lot of people want a, a beginner's video for makeup. So today what I decided to do is try to put everything that I could that could be like in a beginner stage. Um, so I hope this video helps you out a lot. But I want to say one thing before I get into this video. I want to let all you know, just keep practicing. Keep practicing practicing. I promise you, you're going to get it. Practice makes perfect. So I'm just going to leave you guys with that note. Um, good luck and let's get started with the video. Stay tuned. Hi everyone. Welcome. You always have to start off with a good moisturizer. So let's moisturize the face. I'm going to use tonight the Moisture Lush Cream by MAC. If anything is wrong with your face, like oily skin, you can use your all control to hold the makeup on, the prep and prime. But tonight, we're just going to use the Moisture Lush Cream. Only thing I did before this was wash my face with my Eden Oil Soap. So now I'm adding the Moisture Lush Cream on my face. And a little of this goes a long way. It's pretty thick. So this massage that in your face really, really well. As I stated, you can uh, get any moisturizer that you like for your face, all of the Any other moisturizer is good, but it's a must. Before you put on your makeup, you must always moisturize your face. Number one. <laughs> okay, now let's go to the brows. I know you sent a tear, the brows, but we're gonna do it in reverse, and I like it this way so much better. I love this new MAC eyebrow pencil. I love the filter tip of this brow pencil. It is like the best. It lines my eyebrow just like I want it. Whatever I need filled in, it does that. I absolutely love this brow pencil and I'm so happy Mac has come out with something with a nice pointed tip. So this is definitely staying in my collection. I love it. Best beauty expert out, baby. Heard of one next stand. If not, I suggest you check for me. Lately, I've been grinding, delivering videos with perfect time and hustling hard like the definition on my triceps. You know me, I'm the lady with a up next. You know now, some people conceal and some people don't. I use the MAC concealer in W40, and I'm going to use my MAC 266 brush. Now, with that, you can use any brow brush you like. It's totally up to you. There's more out there. But right now, I'm just going to line that brow up. Really thin and neat but <laughs> after that I'm just gonna have the concealer go down just a little bit below the eyebrow it's just like you're painting just always understand that this is makeup it can always be corrected and just have fun with it now I'm going to show you after this exactly what I do to uh, like make that concealer disappear. I take a wedge. You can get the wedges from Walmart, Walgreens. I'm just going to dab that like that. That's all you do. And just going to like disappear in the eye a little bit. But it's going to be there, but then it's not. <laughs> I absolutely love this technique. Let's see if you agree. Check out the eyebrows. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love that finish. We're not done, so now let's add an eye primer. You can use any eye primer you like. I had a choice, Urban Decay or Shadow Insurance. I'm pretty much stuck on Urban Decay. Shadow Insurance is like a little too thin for me. But it's a good eye primer, don't get me wrong, but it's a little thin. I like the thickness of Urban Decay. That's just my preference. So now I'm going to take the 227 brush, and I'm going to add MAC Texture. If you do not have texture in your palette, you need to get it. It is like the best crease shadow ever. I thought okra style was. No, 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 no. 
you must get texture in your palette. So I'm just gonna put that in the crease. Now I'm gonna take Amber Light. That is not going nowhere. That is like the top brown to me gold at the MAC store. So I'm gonna take the MAC 228 brush. Now, if you don't have a MAC brush, it's always good to get any thin brush, a shader brush. I would recommend Sonya Cash Up is at Target. Always start at the very bottom, really thin, and then work your way up. A lot of people email me, at see, y'all look like a clown. Okay, always start at the very bottom, really, really low. Open your eye, and you'll see if that's enough for you. If it is, then stop. If it's not, just keep going up and up and up until you feel it's okay for you. But I think the smaller the brush in this method, the better. So definitely, if you can get the 228 brush, that's fine. But another brush definitely will be the Sonya Cash Shug brush. It's at Target. It's a good buy. I love that brush. Now you can take any brush you like, but I'm going to take the 225. And what we're going to do is just blend. It's all about blending. We're going to blend that amber light and that texture together. Nothing is on that brush right now. It's, it's just plain. So what you need to do is just blend that in together. You could have took the, two, two, the, the 217 brush and blend those together. Totally up to you. Now I'm going to take the 217 brush with a little foley. Now if you have embark, that would have been another nice uh, corner color. I just want to be like really, really, really natural. So I took a little foley, which is like a reddish brown. It's just such a beautiful color. I love a little foley. But Embark would have just darkened that up just a little more. So just keep blending. It's all about blending. So just blend that amber lights, that texture, and that a little foley all together. Now let's highlight. Let's highlight the top of that eye. I'm going to take the 239 brush and rice paper by MAC, that eyeshadow. Then what I'm going to do to get everything all blended together right, I'm going to go back in with that 217 brush with a little fold and I'm going to blend that rice paper and that a little foldy together so it can blend together really, really well like the rest of the color. Just always remember, everything must blend. And now I'm just going to take the tip. Oh, I love that. And just make it perfect. <laughs> and this is the eye without mascara. And now, oh my gosh, I am so hooked on Zoom Lash. Why? If for everybody that will watch me, they know that I was so stuck on fiber wig. This does the same thing fiber wig does. It separates my lashes just like I like them. And I like them separated and that they look like I have on false eyelashes. It extends them. And I love that about Zoom Lash. So I'm going to keep this. So this is the pictures with the mascara. So now let's add on the makeup. I'm going to take cosmetic wedges. And you, I have a choice, MAC or Makeup Forever. But tonight I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix. I'm going to put two pumps on this. And I'm an NC50. And it's just going to blend right in with my skin. But if you want like a super, super natural finish, definitely use the Makeup Forever. That is like super natural. But I love that too. But tonight I just wanted a little dip in my face. So. I want to go with the uh, Studio Fix Fluid. So I put two pumps on each side of my face. If you want to, you can use a 109 brush. And I'm just going to put one pump right there on my forehead area. 
Yeah, there's a lot of brushes you could use, but as a beginner, I would definitely use the wedges. I, I really like the wedges. Even if you're not a beginner, I, I definitely like the wedges. Because you can always just dab. And see, I'm just cleaning up the makeup with that wedge. There you go. Just clean any makeup that's like uneven by that, by the eye, and just clean it up with that wedge, and you're good to go. Definitely a good, a definitely something that you could do with that wedge when you want to clean up your makeup that's why i did it this way because if any make any eyeshadow would have dropped you could have cleaned it up with the wedge now i'm going to take my dark mineralizer with my 182 buffer brush by mac now you could have used your uh let's see what it's called your it's by mac is uh studio fix is your powder you could have used that I use that sometime when I can't find my mineralizer. So it's however you want to look at the end of your look. Last but not least, I'm going to, I just want a nude look. I just want a nude lip. So I did the end too. It just came out. I love it. So I hope you beginners enjoyed this. I hope this helps you a lot. Just remember, keep practicing. Love you. Heard of one extend if not I suggest you check for me Lately I've been grinding Delivering videos with perfect timing Hustling hard like the definition on my triceps You know me, I'm the lady with a crap infected And if you notice I got a smooth complexion Miss Satya, have you seen her? Better known as the Mac Dot, I'm a balloon teacher If this is your first time visiting Prepare to get your feet wet You are now tuned in to smooth complexions Miss Satya